Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a grocery haul. I love grocery hauls, I don't know why. They're like the boringest video ever, but they're literally my favorite. Um, I went to Aldi today and I did the Walmart grocery pickup. So I have the link below for that. Save $10 off your first order of $50. It's amazing, I love it so much. Anyway. I am Jessica if you're new here and I want you to subscribe if you like mommy videos, day in the lifes, grocery hauls, cleaning videos. Anyway, okay, um, I thought I would do this a little bit differently today. Usually I have it all laid out and I just stand behind the camera and talk but today I thought I would just grab them out of the bags and show you and be all casual because we're casual here. I mean, if you hear Sayla talking, yeah, she's over there playing with Play-Doh. Hey Sayla, shh, quiet, okay. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to show you the Walmart stuff. First, um, it was about $40 and I already actually pulled the Walmart stuff out of the bags because Walmart uses the plastic bags and they're loud and annoying. Also, not good for the environment. I got this giant thing of International Delight Sweet Cream, um, Cold Stone Sweet Cream Creamer. If I ever have to do the Walmart pickup, I'll usually pick up a thing of um, coffee creamer because they just have a lot of different like a lot more of a variety than Aldi so I got this giant thing and it says two times larger than a quart why does it just say two quarts I don't know <laughs> anyway got that um, oh I'll show you this this is the reason why I did Walmart pickup is because we needed Drano so anyway I just got the great value drain cleaner and this is what's so nice about grocery pickup is that, you know, Aldi doesn't have this. And so I would have had to go into another store and mm -mm, I just drove up there and they brought it out to my car. So yay. So I needed that. So I just added like a few extra things to make it the $30 minimum. And yeah, I don't have to make another trip into a store. Okay. Then I got this value pack of eggs. There's 36 eggs in here. I think it was a dollar fifty, a dollar seventy, something like that. And then, ooh, yum. Okay, I got these salad dressings. I'm gonna do um, some mason jar salads. So I decided to get some like fancy um, salad dressings for those and they have a lot less calories than regular salad dressings. So this one is the Greek, Greek yogurt dressing in cucumber dill. So it's gonna be like a tzatziki type thing. So I'm gonna do like a Greek salad in a mason jar and I'll probably do like six of each thing, but whatever. I'll probably include my meal planning in like a different video, maybe like a day in the life. I'll show you what I do. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So this one looks so good. I love tzatziki sauce. And then, oh yeah, and you'll see I got all of the ingredients for like a Greek salad, the feta cheese, the tomatoes, the olives, all that. So excited about that. So I'm going to do that one this week. And then next week, I'm going to use this dressing for meal prep. And this is cilantro avocado. And this is from Bolt House Farms. Yeah, avocado. I think they actually swapped this out because I thought I got the Hidden Valley one of this, but they must not have had it. So this is Bolt House Farms cilantro avocado dressing. That sounds so good. So I'm going to use that one next week and do kind of like a Southwest type of salad. So this one has 40 calories per serving. This one has 60 calories per serving. So that's so good because I think ranch has like 140 or something like that. Okay. Then I got these two giant things of chicken. Um, they're $1.99 a pound at Walmart. So that's better than Aldi unless they have a sale. Sometimes they have a good sale. Um, so I got like 11 pounds of chicken here. So yeah, I'm going to be doing, yeah, using those for the meal prep. Okay, moving on to Aldi. I feel like this is going to be a long video, but I'm like talking as fast as I can. Sayla, shh, shh, shh. I'm talking as fast as I can. And whatever, I just have a lot of stuff. Okay, so cinnamon raisin bagels. Those are for my husband. I ain't touching these. You guys know how many calories? You guys know how many calories? 230. Plus cream cheese. Mm -mm. Can't do it. I just can't do it. You guys, I'm not really healthy. I'm just trying. I'm trying. Um, fit and active multigrain bread. This is more my speed. This is 45 calories per slice. It's thin. It's like paper thin, but whatever. It allows me to have my guacamole toast so, with less calories, half the calories. Um, okay, so I got some provolone cheese. I'm gonna be doing some stuffed peppers, um, Philly cheese steak stuffed peppers. 
Um, so that's for that. Um, pepper jack cheese. I'm going to be making portobello and green pepper enchiladas. You guys, they're so good. Just ignore that child down there. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to have that recipe linked below. It's a meatless meal, but you guys, it's so good. I like it better than um, chicken enchiladas. It tastes so delicious. So I got that. I'll link all of my recipes that I'm going to make down below because they are some of my favorites. Feta cheese for the um, mason jar salads. Guacamole for guacamole toast, my breakfast. Jalapenos for, what were these for? Um, oh, these are for the enchiladas. Then I got some dark roast coffee. Normally we get the medium roast, um, but I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's just been like not strong enough. And I used like a different brand of coffee in medium roast and it was just a lot like darker it felt like. So I thought I would try dark roast and see like maybe this is actually like more like a medium roast in the regular coffees. So yeah. Um, then I got tomato, basil, and garlic pasta sauce. This is for um, chicken parmesan. I decided to make that one of my meals because I this is the only thing I needed. I had everything else. So there we go. Then I got this turkey sausage for the sweet potato hash. I usually get the pork, but since I'm trying to be healthier, got the turkey. Yay me! Making healthy choices, Jessica. Cream cheese for my husband for his bagels in the morning. Okay, and then I got three mangoes. These were on sale for uh, 59 cents, I think. So I'm going to cut these up with some strawberries, and I'm going to have that for like a snack. A delicious, sweet snack. Tomatoes for the Greek salad jars, whatever. Some broccoli florets. So this is going to be, did I say what I was doing with the chicken meal prep? I can't remember. So I'm going to be doing meal prep with the chicken. I'm going to be doing like grilled chicken with quinoa and um, sweet potatoes and then broccoli. So that's what that is for. I just get the frozen broccoli because it's good and it's easy oh yeah okay so these are like what I'm gonna use for that meal prep this is Tuscan grain salad brown rice quinoa and wheat berries um, with almonds and red bell peppers so yeah it looks like super fancy oh and it says in a creamy tomato parmesan herb dressing so yeah I'm gonna have this and put some grilled chicken on top have some sweet potatoes and broccoli on the side does that not sound delicious so delicious and fancy okay then I got a buttload of sweet potatoes here so these are for the sweet potato hash and for the meal prep I'm gonna run out of room here you guys okay so I got some blueberries I think these were a dollar 79 for this uh, pint of blueberries and those last forever um, actually and then I got let's see here three things of strawberries which Oh, snap. Then I got these two giant cucumbers. Look how huge these are. Um, for the um, blah, blah, blah. for the jar salads and for just snacking. And those are something that Sayla actually likes, like a vegetable that she likes. And then romaine lettuce. I need to check on this. Is it okay to eat romaine lettuce now? I think it's been like a month since the recall, so I feel like it should be okay. But I'll have to check before I eat it and die. Then I got some baby portobello mushrooms. I got two things of these. One of them is for the portobello mushroom enchiladas. Okay, and then speaking of bell peppers, bell peppers. Okay, so one of these is for the stuffed peppers and one of them is for something else. Oh yeah, the enchiladas. We're eating a lot of bell peppers this week. Then I got carrots. My daughter randomly asked for these, which is so weird because before she's refused to eat them. Um, so yeah, I think she just wants to be like a bunny. Um, so I got these and I'll also put these in the salads. Two bunches of bananas. Some red onions because I feel like red onions are more in Greek um, salads. Graham crackers because my children were hungry and we were walking past these, so I grabbed them. And I opened them, and we ate them. Um, a couple of boxes of granola bars. These are Greek yogurt, protein, strawberry granola bars. And these ones are sweet and salty nut, and these are for my husband for his lunches. Got some.
some these flour tortillas um, just I don't know to make a quick quesadilla for the kids or something like that um, yeah I don't really have a plan for those then I got some roasted almonds with sea salt for a healthy snack because everyone eats almonds as snacks whenever they're trying to be healthy so why not um, strawberry preserves not healthy for my husband <laughs> Um, then I got some Mediterranean extra virgin olive oil. This is organic and this is $3.99. I feel like that's a really good deal, but I'm not quite sure. I think it is though. The last time I bought olive oil, it was at Sam's and it was like this giant thing and I don't remember how much I paid for it. So I don't know if it's a good deal because I haven't bought it in so long. And then I got this two things of tomato sauce for the enchiladas. I got pitted olives for the Greek salads. Black beans, because Eden loves black beans. Um, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you totally already know that. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Mommy.chats. Okay. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah. And it used to be my name, but then I switched. So, yeah. Organic pineapple salsa. I thought this would just be a good, like, not crappy snack to have with some chips. Yeah. Okay, last two things. I got this. I think it's, I think it is. Okay, I got this almond milk, and I got this because a friend gave me some Shakeology, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, cool. Um, so she said it goes good with almond milk, so I got some almond milk, and I'm excited to try that. Do you guys have any success stories with Shakeology, or have you tried it? What do you think about it? Tell me. Uh, laundry detergent, boring. Um, this is the Aloha Fresh, and it's comparable to the uh, Gain. And I already, and I know that I like this. Oh, I cannot talk. Um, yeah, and I love this stuff. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, definitely check out those recipes below because guys, they're so good. I haven't tried the stuffed peppers, but the enchiladas, the sweet potato hash, um, two of my favorites. So anyway, check those out. Check out the link to get $10 off your first order of $50 or more at Walmart grocery pickup. And yeah, hit the subscribe button if you're new here, hit the like button if you liked it, and leave me a comment and let me know one meal that you're making this week. Okay guys, talk to you later, bye.